Hey everyone, I'm Corey. I'm here to help you do basic threads in Onshape using the custom feature created by Dave Cowden. Let's get started. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is sign into Onshape. You do this by just going into Onshape login, put in your email and password, and then click sign in. Then it'll bring you to your home page for Onshape, and this is where you will need to either open up an existing document or create a new one. I created a new document and titled it Thread Practice, but there's no reason why you couldn't rename yours to be different. Now, once you're within the document, you'll want to start by creating a new sketch on the top plane. The purpose for this is that this is where we will create the shape for the head of the bolt. Now, for the bolt that I am modeling, I'm going to be using a hexagon as my head pattern. Onshape has a really nice tool for all the different type of polygons, so I just used it to create an inscribed hexagon. And then for the bolt that I'm creating, the head is going to have a diameter of one half inch. So I went ahead, dimension that inner circle so it has a diameter of half an inch. Now, once you've dimensioned the hexagon, you will want to go ahead, finish the sketch, and then extrude the hexagon to a height of a quarter of an inch. Now the height of a quarter of an inch is purely an arbitrary value to make the head of the bolt look proportional to the rest of the bolt. Now you could use a different height for the head of your bolt if you wanted. Now once you've done that, go ahead and start a new sketch on the top face of the hexagon. Once you've done that, you'll want to create a circle on the center of the hexagon with a diameter of 3 eighths of an inch. Again, the bolt that I'm creating has a diameter of 3 eighths of an inch. Therefore, the circle I am creating will be dimensioned for 3 eighths of an inch. Again, if you're making a different bolt, go ahead and add the dimension for whatever your bolt thread diameter is going to be. Now, once you go ahead, finish the sketch and extrude the circle to the height of what, however long you want the bolt shaft to be. In this case, I'm using one inch from the model that I'm creating but again, you can use yours to create whatever you want. Now the next step to mo finish modeling our bolt is to add the thread. However, Onshape, unlike many other CAD programs like Autodesk Inventor, Fusion 360, SolidWorks, Onshape doesn't provide an easy way to add threads. The default way would be to add a helix coil and a triangle and use the helix coil as a path for the triangle to extrude the threads manually. However, Onshape provides this really neat ability to add custom features. These are scripts that the community has created that adds features and functionality to Onshape. You'll want to go to this page, which is the first link in the description, or you could look up Onshape Custom Features. Once you're there, you want to scroll down until you see the View More button. Go ahead and click that, and then you'll see this table of different custom features. You're looking for the one that is titled Thread Creator. Go ahead, in this one it is the second column, second from the bottom. Go ahead and click that. Now once you go ahead and click that, it'll bring you to this page. Now this custom feature was created by Dave Cowden. I did not create this, all the credit for this feature goes to him. Again, I did not create this custom feature, it was made by Dave Cowden. Now to add this custom feature to your Onshape toolbar, Go ahead, click that custom feature button in the upper left hand corner. It'll bring up a pop-up window here on the right hand side. You want to left click on it. It should then become highlighted in blue and you should get this pop-up saying custom features thread creator was added to your toolbar. That's all you needed to do to add the custom feature. Now head back to your document and in your toolbar on the right hand side, you should now have a button that says thread creator. You might have to bring down a drop down menu though to see it. Now go ahead, left click on it as you would with any feature within Onshape, and now it brings up this pop-up menu, similar to an extrusion uh, or any other feature within Onshape. The first thing that it's going to ask you is to select the cylindrical face in which you want to apply the thread. Now the remaining variables that you need to define for your thread is thread standard, the pitch, and the thread distance. Now we're going to break each of these down so it's nice and clear. Now, let's start by going over the different thread standards. There is ANSI, also commonly referred to as UTS, and that's for imperial threads. So if you live in the United States or Canada, you're most likely gonna be using ANSI or a slash UTS. 
ISO is for metric threads. So if you are sane like the rest of the world and you use the metric system, you would use an ISO. Now, there's also multiple different variants of the different standards. There are your standard and square are the most two common threads. And you can see there in the diagram that the standard is a wave for your thread shape versus a square thread. Now another useful thing to know is how to interpret thread notation. So I've talked a little bit about this as we've been going through, but the bolt that I've been trying to create is a 3-8-16 UNC bolt. So let's break up each of these different components within the thread notation. The first number, that's the thread diameter. So the 3 8 is my thread diameter, hence why I have my circle that I extruded for my bolt shaft is 3 8 of an inch. The second number is the threads per inch, and that's 16, and we'll get into that a little bit more on the next slide. And then the last one is the thread standard. For this one, it's UNC, which is also commonly referred to ANSI. So here within Onshape, I'm gonna select ANSI standard. Now, within this custom feature, it is asking for the pitch, not the threads per inch. So here's a really quick, easy way on how to calculate the pitch. So the threads per inch also could be abbreviated as TPI. The pitch is always the inverse of the threads per inch or one over the TPI. So in our example bolt that we are creating, 3.8-16, the threads per inch is 16 and our pitch is one over 16. Now there's one final thing to define here to model our bolt and that is how much of our cylinder we want to be threaded. The default value is that the cylinder is fully threaded but there are two other options. You can either select the number of turns or the distance. In this model, I chose a distance of one half an inch. So you can see that the threads could be for the first half and then have no threads the second half. This feature does add a few other abilities that we're not gonna go over, but real quickly, it is that you can have a left-hand thread or that you can have the threads have a taper. But that's it. You've now in 15 easy steps created threads in on shapes. Good luck on creating your own threads.